Well, hey there, ho there, how do you do? This is my shadow talking to you. Well, hey there, ho there, who could it be? Howdy, y'all. It's me. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all the times my dad embarrassed me as a child was for this moment right here and now. Um, it's Calliope, and I am trying to live out of my comfort zone. I've been in my comfort zone for far too long now, and, and nothing surprising and nothing exciting happens there. So I'm stepping on out, and if that means that I start with this selfie stick in the beautiful Montevallo Ore Park, that's what we're going to do. So, this year, and trust me, I don't like talking about this new year, new you. This is how this year is going to be different than all the other years. Um, but, I don't just want to be happy anymore. I want to do, I want to do great things and I want to share things. And I want to stop being so afraid of what people think. Um, it's really, really horrible that we let that get in the way of reaching our full potential sometimes. And, um, yeah. I, I don't know what, what else to say, but, but you have to start somewhere and start saying some things with certainty and speaking them into existence. I feel like this past year and a half since I've, um, gosh, two years actually, since I've graduated school, I've, um, I've been playing it safe. I've been telling myself that I'm gonna stay here in Montevallo and figure things out and then move on and do bigger and better things. But the truth of the matter is, is that I can do great things here for my community and, and where I am right now. And so, by goodness, I, I want to start doing that. I want to stop being so so selfish with, with the gifts that I've been given. Um, and I think, I think some of the gifts that I have uh, is the ability to be a good listener and the ability to um, make a fool of myself and, and help people laugh. But, but beyond that, I don't know exactly what it is, but this amount of certainty that I said I needed to start speaking with, yeah, well that, what I am certain of is the fact that I am a performer. It is something I have never, ever doubted about myself. I don't necessarily feel like a musician or an actor, but solely, but an entertainer, that's, that's somewhere in there. Um, and the way I feel on stage is the greatest high I have ever experienced in my life. And, and no matter what it is for other people, I want to help them find that feeling. I want everybody I interact with to feel encouraged to do what they love. And in order to do what you love, you have to overcome some fears and, and some things that scare you. So I guess really what I'm here to do is to prove to myself that I can get out of my comfort zone. And that is where I want to live this year and every year for the rest of my life, right on the verge of, of doing something I'm not sure of. And if I fail miserably, at least I ruled out an option, right? <laughs> um, about three summers ago, I took this course with the National Outdoor Leadership School Knowles. And throughout the course of nine days in the wilderness, uh, one of the, the things I find most delightful is um, some of the charts and graphs we would draw out in the sand or with our bear rope or our hiking poles. And there's this diagram that has always stuck with me. And I love sharing it with people. Um, and, and in order to be an effective leader, I think you have to know what this is. You know, we have, we have this very small circle, right? It's our comfort zone. And then right outside of that is the discomfort zone, right? And then right outside of that is the terror zone. You can't learn anything in the terror zone because you're paralyzed by fear. But being right on the edge of that terror zone and that discomfort zone, that's where I wanna live. And I don't know what I'm gonna do to get out there, but sharing more of myself on this weird interweb thing is one of them. I think one of the qualms I have with this form of, of sharing yourself is that Sometimes it feels so one-sided. You know, I'm here talking at you. I don't, I don't like that. I want to be a, a good listener and I want everything I do in this world to invite people and inspire people to share themselves. 
Um, but you know, maybe maybe that's just an excuse for me to not share myself in this in this strange internet world that we have created for ourselves. That is that is a tool for us. I know if I don't get here on your screen and say hey to you every once in a while, um, then, then there's no way you're going to come out to my live shows, and there's no way you're going to have the opportunity to to loop pedal something onto my microphone and share it with the world and there's you know it's it's a space that I want to facilitate and I'm trying to figure out how to share myself shamelessly but also selflessly I think whenever we see other people in the world doing great things it inspires us to do great things so you know don't be afraid to do great things and don't pretend like this self-doubt and self-deprecation that you're dealing with is some form of humbleness because it's not. You have to share the best of yourself. And if you make a fool of yourself along the way, that's okay because you learn. Um, maybe what I'm doing right now is just giving myself a pep talk. It sure does feel like that. Uh, and I know if I, um, if I watch this back before I post it on the interweb, it may never make it out. So I'm just gonna, just gonna push it out and, and push myself out of this comfort zone and into my discomfort zone, because it's important. Um, wow. For those of you who don't know, I am recording my debut album. Woo! How exciting is that? Uh, I think it's pretty exciting. It's also scary because I want it to be perfect and I want it to be amazing and I want to look back from it 10 or 20 years from now and be like, wow, that was really incredible, something. Um, but the fact is it doesn't matter because if I think that in 20 or 30 years, then, then that means I wasn't growing all, all of those years in between. This growth mindset, this mindset for, for change, I think that's what the new year brings upon us. I think it's great. Um, Yes, back to the idea of me recording my first album. <laughs> um, I shared my very first song in Montevallo, this lovely town that I've lived in for seven years now. Shared my first song September 2015. It was the first time I had the courage to come out and say, you know, I'm a songwriter and this is what I've created. And I was scared. I was so scared to do it because at that point I didn't play piano well enough to accompany myself. I didn't play guitar, mandolin. I didn't have a loop pedal or a ukulele. Um, a loop pedal, not a pedal. I don't know what a loop pedal is, but anywho, um, maybe it's like this cool hand invention where it pets your pets for you. Um, gosh, I digress. I do this a lot. <laughs> this is probably why I've been afraid to share myself uh, because I am wacky. Okay, so Back to 2015, sharing my first song in this wonderful town. That song was about change, and and I need a change. I'm in I'm in desperate need of a change in my life right now. I don't want to sing some of it for you, um, without any accompaniment, because when I got up on that stage, that open mic night stage at Eclipse, all I had were my my hands, da da, ch, da da, ch, and today right now I only have one hand, so. We're gonna see what we can do with some snapping. And the song goes like this. Sink of patience, sister, sink of patience. We're living in a psycho nation. Psycho nation, they'll try and tell you what to think. While your mind is on the brink of more beautiful things. They tell you that it's wrong, but you feel right. Don't let their judging words keep you up at night. Just follow your good heart and you'll start to see a change. Oh, most change is for the better. It ain't easy, I know. But change is pain and pain is growth. Have faith in where you'll go. Don't make a change for anybody. Just change for yourself. But you're better you than yesterday, sharing your happiness and wealth. Oh, oh, oh. Go someplace you've never been before. Just open up your heart and give far more than you've ever gave. Stop trying to save yourself. 
You feel uncomfortable, you don't feel right You're out of rhyme and time Don't fit in anyone's lines You change your mind Every time they speak Most changes for the better It ain't easy, I know But change is pain and pain is growth Have faith in where you'll go Look. <coughs> ah. I just choked on my saliva there, but here we go. We're going to pick back up where we left off. But I don't remember where I left off, so we're just going to stomp, clump, 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 clump. We have a friend with a dog, a friend with a dog. What a cute dog. They don't know they're going to be in this video. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. The point is being... We all, we all should want change. Um, it's a hard thing to deal with, but right on the other side of that change is an expansion of your comfort zone. And the more you expand your comfort zone, the more opportunities you have. And the more, the more people you can inspire to live their best lives too, you know? You know? You know what I know? You know what I know? I don't know what I know, but that's okay. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I'm just going to sign off with that song now. Uh, as I get out of my comfort zone of walking around parks with selfie sticks and talking free form improvisation from my heads, these will, these will get better. Um, but you know what? You can't start from a place of perfection. You got to start where you are and by God, move forward from there. This is Calliope Pettis signing off.